Our three-person officiating crew, Ron Groover, Jeff Pond, and Doug Schaus. Notre Dame in the white, and the Titans in the blue. As these teams first met back in 1912. Tonight, the 54th meeting, but the first since 2011. And the first basket of this meeting from Louisiana Lafayette. And when you talk about physicality, he is the biggest man on the court at 268 pounds. That's a good sign for the Irish. T.J. Gibbs strokes the game's first triple. And the question is, will Notre Dame get to T.J. Gibbs, who's performed at a high level in conference play, or the young man who performed against Maryland, scoring no points in 30 minutes? Two struggling offenses finding their rhythm here in the first minute. And how about the alley-oop to... Jawan Durham. Execution, you see the spacing. Jawan Durham points to the sky. TJ Gibbs in full rhythm right there in sync. And now this is also a team that's played a lot of games on the road. They lost to Eastern Michigan this past weekend in what was their home opener. Gibbs, two of two from downtown. Confidence oozing off the screen here. I mean, that is deep range and that is non committal defense. Showing the Irish shooters should thrive. Gibbs this time kicking Mooney from the baseline. And he's on the scoreboard. Here's your heat check from Gibbs. Feels good. Yeah, he's got the perpetual green light at this point. A miss by Antoine Davis, but tipped back up and in by Brandon. And add to that, he's been suffering from tendonitis in his knees. So not at 100% here this evening. Fluger on the spin. You're disrupted, so then you're trying to force the issue in certain places. Places where you don't normally turn it over become tally turnovers. Brad Calipari. Awkward screening opportunity from Davis, so the right call made. Wide open look for Fluger. And Notre Dame. And I've seen Rex's father and his mother, his mother with the most bright, radiant smile watching one of her two sons do what he loves the most put on a jersey for Notre Dame and lost her because of what she meant obviously to the Fluger family but to the Notre Dame family as well. Durham on the turnaround against a double team and he still finds a way to bury it. Troy Mercy has been shifting back and played a, several sequences now here consecutively in man not trusting their defense versus the zone but Wide open underneath, Dean Goodwin just laying it up and in. It's part of what has made him successful. And there's a turnover, though, by his team. Goodwin in the open floor, laying it in. Fluger just threaded the pass so fluidly to him. Halfway point of this first half, and Notre Dame's been stretching their lead. It's not enough as Antoine Davis turns water into wine on that possession as his teammates lie flat on the baseline. The family tree. With, without question, and I know Mama Calipari is watching, so she would probably say the graphic is wrong. Son of Ellen. <laughs> I'm sure it goes for the mothers for, for all of them on there. <laughs> Nate Leszewski drains it from three. Justin Miller with the shot clock in single digits. Willie Isiani finally hits a three for Detroit Mercy. About 33% from distance. But the Titans as a team just 3 of 12 from beyond the arc. Notre Dame, meanwhile, 6 of 12. Your defender in the paint. Don't be afraid to be unselfish and kick them. Steal by the Irish. Kicked around. Leshevsky leads the 2 on 1. And Prentice Hub with the finish. Exactly how he drew it up right there. Excited to welcome on board to try and bring a winning formula and winning attitude here to his team. Tough shot by Mooney. Haven't really needed his offense here. Now with five minutes left to go, first half. 38-24 is the lead. And Davis, the shooter's role in a very shooter-friendly arena here at the Purcell Pavilion. Under three to go. Willie Isiani looking for his second three, and he knocks it down. It's good defensive effort. It's a tough shot. That's making a, a great score, meet a chest, take a low percentage one. And another opportunity for the Irish. Shot clock resetting to 20 after the offensive rebound, but it won't take long for Mooney to put it away. Dane Goodwin. A pure stroke from downtown. Davis taking Hub off the dribble. He's their leading scorer, now has 14 points, but still doesn't have a three-point basket. Threes, but that has been 
too few and far between for a team that cannot keep up with the Irish and their ability to score points in bunches this evening. In the final seconds, Mooney. Three-point line, Detroit Mercy back in that 2-3 zone. Collapse and contest all three-point shots. They did not do so. A fractured thumb. And their most recent game, a loss to Eastern Michigan over the weekend, was his first game back, and now he's gone again. Disruptive with your hands down. You can't truly contest anything. Nobody contesting that slam from Jawan Durham. In the final minutes of the loss to Maryland last week. And they're dropping bodies here at Notre Dame, and they can't afford to. Still hasn't hit his first three-point basket, but he's 8 of 12 now from the field. And if he only takes one more step further back, these are three-point shots as T.J. Gibbs. Davis. Finally, a rare miss, but Gitchell with the offensive putback. Over. T.J. Gibbs, the hot hand all night long, and he cans another three. Here's Davis, nine of his last 11 from the field, that time distributing, and Calipari connects. Three-point basket for Brad Calipari, who's dead. John is in attendance here tonight, and there's Goodwin with the putback for Notre Dame on the other end. Start to get stops if you want to have a chance. Calipari with the corner three, and that's back-to-back -back triples. And I'll do the part to get us back into this. The sharpshooter coming alive. Gibbs always has an answer. He made three-point baskets in a single game for the senior from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. But there's Antoine Davis with his first triple. As strong as the Irish have been offensively, that is now three consecutive trips down where you're giving up a three-pointer defensively. You have to have a better awareness defending the arc. Hall of Famers along the way, and it's paid off. Yeah, no question. A, a young man who's, who's very quietly goes about his business and one of the more talented players in the college game. Good win. Open lane to the basket, and how about Mooney with the one-handed follow? And I'll tell you, it has just been clinical for the Irish offensively. That is their 25th assist on 29 made field goals. And he's 4 of 5 from beyond the arc as well. Antoine Davis, fall away, tough shot. Just putting the team on his back, some timely shots from Brad Calipari. Outside of those two, they just haven't got the help. Jawan Durham, no answer for him underneath. Visit v.org slash donate. All donations benefit the V Foundation for Cancer Research. And you know, I, I, I kind of chuckled, Steve, as another three goes for the Irish. It's a million like them. Miller. Leshevsky tried to draw the charge. He wants to see effort. He wants to see improvement. He sees Leshevsky lay another one in for Notre Dame there, but he just wants his team to be ready come January. Point of our second half of play, Notre Dame the sizable advantage here. 83-55. Antoine Davis continues to score. It's like Jawan doing that kind of thing time and time again. How much will you take from this game, though? This was one that they were expected to win, and frankly expected to win by a wide margin like they are right now. It's something that's going to make the headlines across the national landscape, but it's huge to gain momentum and confidence to feel good with the schedule ahead. Seeing John Mooney shoot 30% from three. The way you may stop him from getting to your record is if you suit up and just go out and block him yourself. I tried to plead with him. I said, Juwan, be, be, be a little more selfless. Take charges. Best field goal shooting percentage that they've had all year as well. And just adding to it with Durham once again. And this is a Notre Dame team that needed an offensive night like this. And that's, that's, his hump. that's the best way to put it, Steve, is Hump banks down to three right there. He was looking for the exclamation point of the night. Came Give up short. Opportunity. Oh, no. Jogo says, this is how you do it. I'm going to give you a demonstration. Because the caliber athletes that they're going against, understanding the windows to make passes tighten a little bit quicker so you're sharper there and in all facets. Nick, when he woke up this morning, Skip shoot around. His shooting hand has been bothering him as well. He's got a bruise on his knuckle. Dane Goodwin. When you've got your guards who can get to spots, when they enjoy to kick it, there's got to be somebody who can complete the play. Maybe this could be the turning point for those shooters for the Irish. Prentice Hub has his first double-double 
of his career here tonight. John Mooney with 10 and 10, his 28th career double. Jawan Durham. Um, their way to get offense going, and these guys are capable shooters because that takes away whoever the opponent is. Has had some kind of night along with the rest of this Irish team. Brad Calipari has been a bright spot from three-point range. Be a 39-point win for the Irish over the Titans. Notre Dame put six players in double figures, and they set a school record.